Hello everyone, Dream Sword here yet again. I am joined here by someone you've never met before, probably. Say hi, man. Well, I guess if, you, if they listen to the podcast, they know me as the guy who just screams. <laughs> That's true. But I am Nick. I have a YouTube channel that I basically never use. So, and I'm also Dave from that one Lloyd's Intervention thing. Yeah, if you've ever seen that. <laughs> if you haven't, you should. It's funny. Indeed. It, it, we've actually gotten some pretty good uh, comments on it. Really? I haven't watched it in a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, Nick is just the guy who screams about spoilers all the time. That, that, I don't do that as much anymore, but I need to. <laughs> you need to make up for lost time. Yeah, I know. Say spoilers a hundred times this time the podcast comes up. Right, so Sunil's beating the crap out of Eugene here. Which is... I, I don't even know who I would want to win. They're two of my favorite characters from two different Tales games. <laughs> mm, I don't... I don't know. It's a tough fight. I would... I'd say Sentinel would probably win. That's just me. True. I guess. What is up with Sentinel's design? Why is he all like... Why does he look like someone from D. Gray, man? <laughs> uh, they went for a different artist for his uh, mug shots. And all... It, it's weird. They did that for all three Radiant games. They got a different art style for his mug shots. I don't know why they didn't just use the ones from Legendia. But in Legendia, everyone has, like, beads on them, and it's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Is that, like, a story thing? No, that's just an artist thing. The, they got the guy who did stuff like Shamrai Shampoo to do the I can tell, like, project. from the the guy with the red beads and, like, the eye patch. I can tell he's yeah, a Samurai, Sh- Samurai Shampoo kind of character. Yeah, Moses. He's great. He's actually my favorite from Legendia. But, uh, if you didn't catch this, this mission is where you have to go fight Eugene to prove your worth, as it is. And since I've been doing a different class for each fight, poor Eugene here got saddled with Archer. Yay, let's play the ranged game. <laughs> Basically. Gotta be a dick. I'm gonna go Injustice on this guy. Oh god. Injustice is not <laughs> as... I, I saw some Shazam play that was up close and personal and you, like, couldn't get away. Nice. But here he is. Let's see how this goes. I believe you can win. Mm-hmm. Oh man, dig that great battle theme. I I have Radiant 2, and I remember using him at one point in Radiant 2. Uh, huh. <laughs> yeah, Eugene hits hard if you let him get in on you. But, uh... But yeah, the trick here is just kind of, if you're being an archer anyway, it's the same as any other fight with the archer. You just kind of run around and try not to get hit and don't miss your arrows like I did. Yeah, Life Stealer just went right through him. Kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> And then that move sucks, so I actually switch it out, like, after I get done getting hit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I had completely forgotten that spinner shot sucks, don't ever use it. How <laughs> dropped combos, everyone. It's a game everyone can play. So, you recently played through Rebirth with, uh, Clintron, Nikki, you could suck it, Yes, correct? I did, well, play through, I, I played a lot, of, I, I played most, or a good bit of it, and we beat the final boss together. Nice. So. You just stabbed your ass to death. Basically, I played as Eugene, my favorite uh, Rebirth character. Mm-hmm. And here he plays very similar to Rebirth. He has only uh, base and arcane arts, but whereas that normally would be a hindrance, it's kind of a strength for Eugene because because of that he can. Uh, he can do that and just stab you and throw you on the ground. Ba- basically. <laughs> the problem is, though, is that a couple of his base arts don't uh, stun as much as they should. So you just gotta kind of be choosy about what arts you do. He can pretty much combo anything and anything, though, just about. And then there's stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is like the first time we get English names for Eugene's moves. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh. Granted, I have Radiant 2 in Japanese, so... Is it even, uh, is it even out in English? There's, any, there's a menu patch for it, but not a story one, unfortunately. Menu patch would be helpful. Yeah, that's how, that's probably what I'm going to use when I get to Radiant 2 later. I would I would love it if someone translated the whole game, but uh, it's not happening apparently. How's that? Flare shot. It kind of missed. <laughs> uh, but so, what was your impressions of Rebirth in general? Um. Battle system's not my favorite. I don't dislike it as much, but, like, it's not my favorite. I don't like the lanes thing. Yeah. Um, other than that, 
didn't quite really understand the story because we played in Japanese, but I kind of got the fact that everyone fucking hates animals. <laughs> racism all around, and Mao confused me. Yeah. But then there was a girl with a hat, I think. Yeah, Hilda. <laughs> when we played, we he, she was never used, so... Oh. She's like your best mate. <laughs> you know, you know how Flam's Ron is with his mages. Yeah. yeah. He, or he lack, just likes the lack of their own. Ryan, like he never puts mages in his party. I don't understand why. He he likes going for the all-out approach. Little does he know the AI and the all-out approach is not the best. Indeed. And here's a skit I put in just because I figured you'd really like it. The guy's got to take good care of his looks, right? He does. <laughs> that ponytail doesn't keep itself. Ready for any occasion. <laughs> I don't like Momo. <laughs> Mormo, yeah, he's, or he's Mormo, annoying. sorry. Yeah, he, he's annoying. He's stupid. I hate him too. He's terrible. And well, that's the end. We'll see you guys later. Later.